Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas. You're the man on the sticks. I got him. And we're playing Madden 20, the Dynamorphins. <laughs> the Dynamorphins? That's even better Saga. than the Dynamorphins. <laughs> the Dynamorphins? Yeah, all right, fine. TNT, you know what I was thinking? Uh, about me naked? No. Okay, well. No, no, no. <laughs> thank God. What actually spawned this was a comment that someone had put on one of the Desperados videos. What they say? It was, <laughs> the comment read, I'm going to tell my sister about this so she can get your <laughs> tips. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> and I had no idea what the guy was talking about. It was our tip episode. And then I went back and it was like, we were talking about putting hey, maple syrup and duct tape on their legs. Yeah, I remember that. I saw that comment. I was like, big man. Ups. We should come up with just a general, like, one word topic for an episode and then just, like, talk about that topic, like, the whole episode. Whatever the hell we can come up and wherever it goes from there. Like, today is closed, and we just go. And Jonas, wherever the hell it goes from there, we go. Jonas, you're speaking my freaking language. This is what I attempt to do every episode, Eddie. We basically already do that, but I like the one topic. And then and we may end up talking about starships, but we'll start with, like, mosquitoes that's or a, peanut right. butter. Or I mean, like I said, I, that's what I try to do every episode anyway. I'm right. fine with that, though. Yeah, we Let's just, go. And, and I don't want to think about it ahead of time. We just All pick right. something. Uh, let's do... Oh, Jesus. Ceiling fans. Go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right <laughs> wow we're gonna start with a real good one all right so look jonas yeah optimal speed for a ceiling fan is it first pull second pull third tug oh yeah i guess exactly. it depends what room it's in and what you're doing with it all right yeah so like in my bedroom i have a ceiling fan right yo fam that thing is on third tug constantly like fastest tug or oh, slowest tug no there's a fourth tug isn't no, there there's, no fourth is off whoa oh. whoa whoa they added something new to the game wait what happened they run past options. All right, so uh, read that, Jonas. You need to it know says, this. It uh, says the Eagles were able to win Super Bowl Fifty Two versus the Patriots by running run pass options. RPOs are unique because you can either run or pass. Practice three oh. types. Oh wow, dude! All right. Oh, yeah, dude. This. Let's do it. When to run? Choose when running. Run towards the green zone. Choose the pass. Run running towards the red zone. Shut your freaking mouth, what dude! What the f? Do I get a choice? Yeah, you do. Look. All right, let's. Oh, I can't flip. Wait, hold on a second. You can probably change it with. Can I? You're gonna get a delay. Oh, there it is. It switched. Oh wait. What the heck? I'm confused, man. I see that. This is Kenyon. Like, well, it'd be easier if we weren't doing. Oh my God! And well, there you go. I mean, you know what? Anyways, is Drake. that Drake? <laughs> yeah, that is freaking Drake. Yeah, it will work better in like the Desperados video because I have control over everyone, <laughs> so it'll be a little easier. Wow. Drake. I'm coming home. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. Dun, dun. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like, so you have it on the slowest tug or the fastest tug? Yeah, so I guess it's like mid tug then, probably. I thought, I, I thought there was four so tugs. The fourth tug is off. So there's off, low, medium, high. Yes. Well, it goes, actually, it goes in reverse. It starts out, it goes off, high, medium, low, off. All right. So you are what? What kind of tug it are you? It depends what room. Man. So bedroom, no fudger. If it's not super hot, <laughs> it's usually on tug one because I have another fan in the bedroom. All right, so you're tug one boy. No, it, well, tug one is low though. Tug, okay, so it'd be tug three. You're on tug. You're on tug three. You're tug three. -er? You're three tugger. Unless it's super hot, then I tug it up. All right, so <laughs> situational. All right, so it's low. Low. I'm on Okay, low. so you're a one tug. The That's one tug. tug. No, first tug is high. It goes high, medium, then. Oh, it goes it's down. Reversed. Yeah, dude. See, you blew my mind because I'm thinking <laughs> one tug is low. No, one tug is high. It's opposite of everything else. All right, so being three tugs is actually on the lowest setting. Yes. All right. And that's all situ Oh boy. That's, that's unfortunate. Tugging, yeah, so wait. So why you're on tug <laughs> one. <laughs> that's the highest level it is. Sure. You also have a fan. Yes. 
All only right. when I'm sleeping. Well, okay. I sometimes I turn on a clock. It's all situational. <laughs> Way too many situations. Wow, like I'm just, this, I'm just unveiling the, all of we, my. We need quick, quick answers all here. All of my tugging mechanisms <laughs> going on right now. <laughs> we, we got quick answers, Jonas. Man, not enough time to get into your your well, your supple bro, skin here. Just let me know. What, one of the most situational things. All right, well, give me like the highest percentile and give me that answer. All right, me too. I also fanboy need to have my fan on mostly all the time, though. I find I like to have like the the air motion. Ooh, dynamite on the run. Oh, down. All right, <laughs> my knees. Do you know? Did you know, Jonas? I think it's in. Uh, where do they speak uh, Korean at? Korea. Okay, yeah, I think it's Korea. <laughs> I think it is. Where do they speak Chinese? Oh, oh! What are you doing? Where do they speak Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> for the video. All right, so <laughs> Korea, yes. they actually believe that if you have a fan on while you're sleeping, that it causes illnesses and people have died from yeah, it. Yeah, I heard about that. I think we talked about it on the podcast. They have, yeah. Yeah, dude. It's, and, uh, you know, and I can see that because, like, if your fan isn't clean, it's blowing dust on you. Oh, come on. Jonas, yeah, come on. What's the difference if you're Jonas sleeping? Jonas is not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas is not coming. <laughs> Jonas, come on. What's the difference oh God. if the fan is blowing dust in your face and you're asleep or the f fan is blowing blust busted? Dang it. The fan is blowing dust in your face and you're awake. Well, but if you're if you're laying asleep, you're laying in bed, the fan's blowing directly on you. If you're awake, you're usually just sitting up. You're not like it's going right into your nasals rather than it depends where the fan is. The fan at your head, the fan at your feet. I don't think that anybody's losing a significant amount of years from having fan dust blown in their face. Dude, you never know. What if it causes? Dude, that reminds me of the that sucks. That this game is making me not happy. <laughs> These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> this reminds me of like one of the barbers I used to go to, and okay. he told me about how he knew a guy who was cutting hair, and then he started having like breathing issues. Right. And then he went to his doctor, and they determined that he had like blockage in his lungs, but they couldn't tell what it was. Right. Okay. So it got to the point where he actually had to have surgery, and they had to open them up, and there was just hair. Oh, because he was breathing in like, yeah. all the fine because he was doing fades and stuff and so he's like doing all those that makes so much sense it's freaking gross man well, it's really all that stranger hair and the dirt and oil and yeah oh, it, like he was it, that stuff is sanitary oh no so, and it's sharp yeah so like he was having like some it, it got to the point where he had to have surgery and they just found like a hairball in his lung <laughs> So gross, dude. I'm telling oh you, God. man. So you know what? Maybe I'm gonna have to walk back my my fan dust blown to the face. <laughs> you have to walk just, that no, back. You just gotta keep your fan clean. You know? <laughs> listen, listen. I figured this out, dude. I've been doing this since I was a child. So you got all you do is you take it apart, right? You, you know, it's very. It takes like two seconds to take your fan. Apart. Yeah. You fill your tub up with hot water. Like, what the hell? Listen, are you listen. Dude. I'm listening, but it's you fill ridiculous. Fill it up like four inches. Plug it. Fill up. Four, then you literally just put the put one piece in, shake it back and forth under the water, lift it up, and then put it on the patio to dry. Like the shaking back and forth takes all the dust off. Of it. You want to know the difference between me and Jonas? What's that? Is this right here? <laughs> I'll go Sanitary buy. A, I'll go buy a new fan. I'll go buy. A, <laughs> they are only like fifteen dollars. Right? I would rather go buy a new fan <laughs> than do minutes. any of that shit stuff. I'm God dang it! <laughs> they do any of that. The only time I put my fan together or take my fan apart is when I'm first putting it together and I put it together wrong and I have to put it together. Again. <laughs> That's the only time you had to do it twice. Because you always f it up the first time you put that D fan together. I'm telling you. Yeah, the D, yeah dude. When I put my D fan together. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what? I, I can can I say dang dang fan yeah, together? Yeah, no, my Alex, I thought you were talking about a different type of fan. My D fan? fan. Yo, Jonas, we could be millionaires. You, you build the, you, what you do is you build the fan in the crotch of the pants, and it blows air on your stomach all the time. Honestly, Jonas, it tell me that's not. It needs a grid though, because you can't get like too close. Tell me that's not ingenious. Dude, I would wear that for sure. I I get so warm wearing pants. Dude, right. Any sort of airflow would help me. So I think like like <laughs> like a vent. Um, like, yeah, like a vent, dude. Yeah. We could call it the vent, uh, uh, or no, something that's not profanity that I can say on YouTube. The uh, yeah, the booty vent's pretty good. The booty fan. 
We'll come up with the name later. Yeah, Either yeah. way, you get a vent in the front, vent in the back. Oh wow! And then That's you a lot get like, <coughs> in your tank. You get a control in your pocket to control the amount of air. One tug, two tug, <laughs> two tug, three tugs. Dude, I think we're gonna be millionaires. Swear to God, if any of you guys listen to this, all seven of you. <laughs> oh, go for it. Connect oh for it. Oh, you're down. If all four of you who watch this video <laughs> steal my idea. I know. I don't want to see anybody else tugging in their pants, all right? <laughs> got to do that in your privacy of your own home. Yeah. Tug out. Yeah. That's my idea. I'm the pants tugger. <laughs> I'm the tugger. I'm the one who gets the tug in my pants. He's going to be ripped down by the yeah, dude, yeah, I like, that I, like I do. I do. I think it's a great idea. I just wonder, like, you'd have to have like a HEPA filter. Yeah. Maybe like It'd a, be a lot of bulkiness in your. Like, you wouldn't be able to wear like skinny jeans. I mean, that's. Oh yeah, and the kids are wearing those now. Yeah, right? dude. That'd be for like, people who still wear. Dang it, Jinkos. <laughs> yeah, dude. If only Jinkos were still around. Dang it. But here's it's like a lot of hardware too. Like, it'd have to be battery operated. It'd have to like have rechargeables, or you'd have to like. You have no power supply in your drawer. Oh, you can plug it in somewhere in your body. And dude, you got pockets. You got pockets all over these pants. You dedicate one pocket to just like the the light battery. You have to do like double D batteries, dude. What do you mean double D? It's not 1992, man. You see the battery that got my cell phone some gun last almost an hour now with me watching it. <laughs> it does almost last an hour, folks. I've seen it. <laughs> it me almost an hour now. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I would be off. But here's the problem. If you if you do something like that, it takes away from the integrity of, like, the, the crotch. And you bend down and you rip your pants. Crotch integrity. You yeah, dude. Point. It's very important. I think we've all ripped a pair of crotches out of our pants. Yeah, and elastic's not a safe, a safe substitute. No, it's not. To the natural fibers of a well-laid crotch. <laughs> There's nothing I like better than the satisfaction of a well-laid <laughs> Yeah, man. You're not even wrong. Like, I've had some, crotch, some crotch compromisation lately. Yeah, dude. I am not about com compromising my crotch for anything. Like, have you ever had to retire a pair of jeans that you love because of crotch compromisation? This is getting hard to say. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of valves. Yeah, dude. Sometimes the crotch compromisation is what causes me to re reassess my life. <laughs> Just yeah, it's, at the word it, it, it's oh, definitely a crotch compromise, <laughs> crotch compromisation conundrum. Yeah. <laughs> for you. There's no bigger conundrum than my crotch gets compromised. Speaking of uh, tongue twisters, yeah. I got one. I just heard it today, and it made me laugh so hard. Oh, dude, I'm off the deal. Oh, Drake. He got two TDs, one passing, one uh, running. Go ahead. That's good stuff, though, honestly. Yeah, dude, Drake's on The wind's back. coming. It may get us demonetized, but here it comes. You already said shit. No, I mean you trying to do the tongue twister. Oh, okay. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. I'm not. And I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. And I'm only plucking pheasants till the pleasant pheasant plucker comes. Right. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. Yes. I'm only plucking <laughs> <laughs> effin effin pheasant. I'm only plucking pheasants. Only plucking pheasants till the pleasant. The pleasant what? The pleasant plucker. Yeah, the pleasant plucker. It's hard, man. It really is. It's really hard. YouTube, Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan, dude. Yeah. Oh, you see him out there? Mmm. Nice. Spun him around. Yeah, dude. I would I would totally buy a, a pair of like vented fan like dress pants. That would be that's you that's never, the, you wear shorts. No, but that would be the right time to wear it because if you're already uncomfortable because you're dressed up, yeah. you're not like stooping down, you're not like doing anything crazy. That would be the perfect opportunity to, to fan your crotch. I mean, yeah, it would probably be I would probably need it in a pair of dress pants more than anything else because that's the one time like if I'm wearing jeans, man, I know all of that. All of that self-contained. It's its own ecosystem yeah, in there. Right. Yeah, dude. It's not getting through that, that membrane of gene material. Yeah, dude. The denim ovum. <laughs> <laughs> you will. <Ooh. laughs> the freaking uh, 
gloom of denim that surrounds your yeah, innards? The, yes. Mm, the Levi crazy. Strauss uterus that surrounds my, <laughs> <laughs> my precious your cargo. Your 501 uterus? Yeah, Ooh. dude. Keep Is my it boot cut? Because I really want to play <laughs> I got I got a flare going on out Ooh. there. Bell bottoms. Right. How our brains work, dude. Good thing yeah. Oh no! DMT. Oh. Run! Run! Run. There it is. There it is. Boom. You know, I'm honestly concerned. Like, I have to say, is that ceiling fans are some of the most well constructed devices on the planet. Oh, Earth. yeah, dude. This one in the living room, the Greystone Complex, has been running for like 20 months straight. <laughs> right? <laughs> and this zombie is still going strong. You can never shut it off. I just looked up at it and I was like, you powerful mastery of human design. Well, I'm trying to think if I ever shut it off to clean it. If not, it's really dusty and dirty. Because eh. usually you gotta clean your ceiling fan every so often because it gets caked. I've seen you, up. yeah, no, I've seen you dust it well, maybe like hey, once or twice. Yeah, so I'm sure you have. Yeah, so like, but basically, it's been running for like 20 months. Yeah. Which is, I mean, if you try to use anything for 20 months, you're not gonna work. Deep That's deep like my car. Man, it's Anyways, <laughs> my cell phone. <laughs> Yo, my cell phone stopped, stopped functioning at optimal capacity like the third week. <laughs> <laughs> like the moment That's I took a did. picture and took up any of the cloud data space. Yeah, they're like, nope, Fun you're broken. Yo, it's funny, Jones. I've had my cell phone. I have an S6. I don't like to bring this it's up to people because they make fun of me. I've had an S6 for almost eight forward. years now. Like the same Drake, cell phone. But I think the S6 only came out like four years ago. Mm, it, but now there's no way. The S10 is out now and it came out one year. I know. I looked it up, dude. Didn't we look it up? I got the S8 in 2017. The S9 came out in 2018. The S10 came out in 2019. S6. I think you have really? the S5, dude. No, I have the S6. I know for a fact. The Android S6, 2015. So, yeah, you're right. Four years ago. But still, for a cell phone, that's you might as well have Windows 95 on that B. Yeah, not, not wrong. So, yeah, it was 2015. So, I've had my cell phone for four years, almost five years. Which is, uh, dude, it's a wonder your battery even turns on. Oh, man, it's bad. <laughs> it's not good. Well, I bought. Well, here's what happened. It ain't good. I just bought a brand. I bought a brand new S9 off of eBay, unlocked. Yeah. Uh, because I was like, oh, you know, because my phone is is uh is telling me that there's water in it, but it's never touched water. It's like it's a pain in my butt because I have to like constantly like reset the phone to get it to charge, whatever. Mm. So I bought. It. I'm like, I'll buy a brand new S9 because I'm not paying a thousand dollars for an S10 because it basically has a better camera. And uh, so I buy it. Get it all set up, get a SIM card, connect it to Sprint's network, it won't connect to the LTE. So I have to return it. To the, the guy who I bought it from off eBay. Third party buyer. Yeah, dude. And it also, for, when I tried to upgrade upgrade the Android on it, um, it was like, it said, please contact service center. And I'm like, dude, this is a brand new phone. I'm not the owner. It. I'm just going to return it. Right? Mm -hmm. I spent all the time setting it up, put all my apps on it. Like, it was, I'm not, I wasn't happy. <laughs> Dude, but let me tell you the story. <laughs> made me so mad, dude. So here, I I, I, set, I call Sprint because I tried to activate it one day and it wouldn't work. They're like, oh, your your SIM card doesn't work. You need a different SIM card. Okay. SIM card comes. They're like, you come. When it comes, put it in, activate it. You'll be good. I do it. It won't connect to the LTE. I call. Go to tech support. This guy tells me to do all this stuff. I know a lot about cell phones, so I've already done all this stuff. I know, like, to upgrade your profile and all this bull crap. In the moment. This guy has the goddamn audacity to be like, let me check your towers in your area. Oh, it looks like we're doing maintenance. We're going to have to give it a couple of days. I was like, I lost my S. I was like, that's complete bull S because my other phone was working completely fine before I called you. And he was like, I don't know. There's been 17 other people who have reported this issue in area. So I got, I, I hung up the phone. I hung up on it. Activated my other phone back immediately. LTE worked. Immediately. I wanted to call, dude. I was, I was on fire, dude. I was Jonas's like, horror stories from customer service. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, that's the same thing 
time you gotta call the cable company too. Oh, I'm not the one that can help you. We get two customer service oh my God, stories in one episode. I don't no, know you're dude, making I it. Know. I have, I mean, anyone <laughs> who's ever had to call Time Warner some Cable some knows what happens when you call him. I haven't had cable in so long, I'm still calling it Time Warner. I think it's like Spectrum now. It's been sold like three times. Spectrum. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I've had my phone for like five years. still works. Yeah, and other than that, that water damage, what I'm going to try to do now that I decide I'm not going to get a new phone, at least for the moment, is I'm going to try to just re-factor reset my phone I have now. Because, like, I've read, it's, if, if you never got your phone wet, it's more than likely a software problem. That's making it wreck. <laughs> Making it say that it's wet when it's not. Really and I'm like, that's the only thing I haven't tried. And I've had the phone for like two and a half years, so it could use a reset anyway. All right. <laughs> good, good story. Yeah, dude. It was like, <laughs> good story. It's the only thing. <laughs> we can just name the but, episodes our but, topic. But, uh. <laughs> Ceiling fan. Like, oh boy, that one's great. All right, so ceiling fan preference. Doing this bang. Here we go. Quick answers. I I've answer got more of oh, them. Yeah, we, go. we got episodes still up, so what the hell? All right. Quick answers. Don't get into depth about how you changed out the SIM card on your, your ceiling fan. All right, to go. Make it. One, two, three, go. All right. My freaking ceiling fan preference. Bang. Go. One light. One, two, three lights, Jonas. What do you want? You want chandelier style? Do you want the single ball? Oh, I want the dome. You want the dome? Yeah. Jonas, why are you looking for dome? <laughs> I always want dome. Nobody's nobody likes dome. I do. I like having the choice of one light, two light, three light. Oh, dude, that's too many options. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I like to just like. Yeah, I can tell. You couldn't even pick which tug you preferred I because they're all tug situational man. tugs. I am very confused about my tugging. You've got all these situational tugs. I'm like, man, just tug it twice and get out of here. Shame me for my life choice. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making. I was just trying to get you more in depth on Fair why enough. you like domes. I, oh, dude, I accidentally domed <laughs> one time. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it, man. The season fan episode is over. I guess, man. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure. Oh, wait, we got to do the between week stuff where oh, we uh, see okay. if somebody talked S to you and you did this, it. This is at least a one-tugger. 541 Ooh, passes. destroyed your secondary team because the Browns aren't good in real life. Dude, they're actually leading their division right now. I know. Yeah, dude. Two to two, right? Two yeah, two and two. <laughs> winning the division. That's <laughs> the saddest S I ever Hey, but it's the first time in a long time we've done it. 14 they were in the lead of the division for a minute they happened to go like five and three yeah and then they lost like all the rest and of their games they're not looking bad out there they're not looking good but they're not looking bad yeah they shut down baltimore they're not looking good but they're not looking bad uh-oh uh-oh drake uh -oh. wants to talk to you hey, drake, he's gonna tell good? you what it's worth i gave you a touchdown fam he says that is how you close out a season man i didn't play the best game of my career you had the best game of the season bro yeah, right. just happened to be part of this offense great job out there today Come morale on. boost five morale for heck Drake. yeah good he's happy all right now what brady have to say after you show us i left it all out there on the field and i think you did too either way congratulations on the win why do you give him that voice <laughs> it's racist <laughs> that's how dude. i feel he talks <laughs> Losing always has been a humiliating experience for me. I've got to keep working. I've got to keep getting better. Bro, you got six Super Bowls. Get the F out of here. I know, right? Oh, I don't like to lose. Who you it does you could lose the rest of your games in your life I know. no one would ever say a word about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> hey man, credit where it's due. I thought for sure I'd be able to bait you into some picks because it is didn't play my best game for real though you played pretty well against me good enough to win anyway props don't, for that don't you ever try to bait me into some picks <laughs> he's gonna bait you into something don't you bait me all right dude what, what are we upgrading oh Your... let's do field general man because we right. haven't done that in a while all right i want to see if you've earned any more uh boo, 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 boo. boom you got all the upgrades uh <laughs> you're an x factor oh fam what does that uh, even mean so dude means you got the special juice does that mean that howie mandel and uh Ooh, nick cannon get to tell me now, dude okay you can pro read what does that do? You can envision an anticipation of the Paramount when they enter the zone. The first open receiver is highlighted. I don't need that. To no, be that's lame. Uh, quarterbacks with, game, with generational arms have the power to scratch any defense and breaking point. 
Oh, to its breaking point. When they enter the zone, their maximum throw distance is increased by 15 yards. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, fearless, fearless quarterbacks are under intimidated by the pass rush. When they enter the zone, their passing accuracy is unaffected by defensive pressure. Ooh, I like and that too. And then brick wall, wall in the pocket, passes with ability are almost guaranteed to break the first sack. I like, like me personally, you have to complete a 30 plus yard air pass to get the bazooka. I like the bazooka because you can throw even farther. But yeah. you, it's you, man. You do whatever you want. Uh, Let's do the bazooka. All right. I like the bazooka plus it's a bazooka, dude. Yeah. I was going to say no to that. All right. Then we got, let's see. We have we have other options here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, this. I'm trying to see if any of these are different than what they were before. Oh, okay. This is what we have. What do we have here? Conduct. This is we have anchored extender or in the pocket pass with ability. You're almost guaranteed to break the first sack. Yeah. Oh, we already have that in. That's a good one. Clutch. Yeah. Midway through the fourth quarter in close games, it, ability goes up. Uh, hot route map. Oh yeah, we already said all. Yeah, this. yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Boom. Now that is all the time we have for today's episode. Whoa. Oh wait, hold on. No, it isn't. <laughs> what are we doing the next week? We gotta go to we gotta go to the wild card week because God, we're gonna we? I think we have a bye. We're undefeated. We are not undefeated. We, we lost, lost three one. out of out of sixteen. We lost three games? Yeah, dude. I don't remember that ish. We're gonna do your training. Is that the des are we playing the Desperados? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, we're not playing anybody. Here we get to upgrade you again. Oh. Oh, snap. Uh uh put it into Put it in the field, General. All right, cool. Hook You're 96 up. overall now. That's what I like to hear. I don't oh. know what that means. I mean, it only goes to 100. Uh, yo, well, we got to stay at 96 right, so because it's the opposite the of my we're number. Not in the, we, don't, we don't play a wild card game, so we'll go to the divisional round. <laughs> get to uh, train you again. <laughs> All right. No. Oh, we got to play the Bengals, who are 8-8. Eight and eight. Oh, so they're going to lose and lose. Yeah, so there we are. All right, now that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. While you're at, check out our playlist page. We've got some stuff there. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we are. Uh, oh.